Hello beautiful people, I came back with the video again. So this video is about um, image to image using uh, Redux, like apply style also. Um, a person asked this, uh, basically commented on a video on that Flux Redux video and he was asking me to, uh, if I can show how he can use image to image using transferring the style of another image so it's not that difficult so i'm going to show you um, two three examples where you can use this and also if you want to use face i guess you can use pole id also uh, there's a bunch of things you can do with the with redux model and just a basic apply style model if you've seen my last video uh, i have created this workflow for you guys everything is same i didn't change anything like but uh, i'm just using unit loader the ggf model quantized version uh, q8 flux dft q8 if you want this i'll link this into description also uh, i'm using this because i don't want to i don't want my computer to crash actually sometimes it crashes because of that 23.8 gigahertz gigabyte model the flux dev and uh, turbo lora for eight step fast generations Flux realism LoRa for a bit of realistic images and guidance 3.5 apply style model adjusted. Uh, I already show you where you can download that and then dual clipper as usual uh, Flux VA single clip Flux One Redux Dev and I'm using uh, MT Latent which is 1011 I mean 1024 by 1024. Okay, let's just. Ignore all of this. So I'm just adding uh, obviously a control net for image to image because that gives me that control. Okay. I would uh, recommend you, I would recommend you to just create uh, small workflows and save it. So you can just, if I want this control net, I just go to node templates and flux control net. And this is my workflow that I have created small workflow so you can create these and you don't have to create a, a workflow small workflow and connect them again and again and again you can just create it and save it how you can save it just right uh, select all of these right click here save selected as template okay click on that name your uh, template and uh, just click ok and you will find it here no templates and here you go okay so you can do that so i'm using Flux Control Net Union Pro. It's a third party uh, control net. Uh, the preprocessor I'm using Depth Anything V2 preprocessor because Depth it has a good. Uh, I like Depth Control because it retains every like the position and everything, but it gives the generation more uh, space to generate new details. I'm using Apply Control Net. Uh, everything is same. I'm using Control Net after the style model because. It will try to apply the style and then uh, the generation will happen uh, on the like depth pass and this is the image that i'm using this is uh, a style that i'm trying to apply on this uh, as you can see a uh, person i'm not using anything here any prompt as you can see nice and good depth model working this is good. So as you can see, I've uh, created these images and this was the results for style reference. I've used these images and this was the image for image to image. So these are the results. I was using these, this and this image for style transfer and we were uh, doing the transfers on this image. As you can see, the results are pretty nice. This is a 0.5 reader strength. This is a one redux strength. These images are different, but the overall quality is nice, I would say. And it also retains the position or pose of the image we were using to apply on style. As you can see, the background is yellow. As you can see, stripes yellow and black here. Uh, the face is painted with uh, black and white paint. And uh, as you can see, the styles is also here. If you want to create images with more stylized like this uh, you need to use prompts so it will 
create the style with keeping in mind what you're writing right so this uh this these results are without prompts like i'm happy with the results it's it's good let's use pull id and see how we can use face with your pose also so let's see how we can do that so i'm using pull id tools if you want the style to be copied and want the face to be uh same as the reference so it, it can help basically you're not going to get 100 percent of this uh the face obviously but you will get some you will get structure and everything from here you can obviously you can change some uh, settings here to get more out of uh, your pull id let's find some style here so we can so we can recreate that let's go with this style okay i'm just um i'm just dragging and dropping on this uh, style reference this is i like this like just drag and drop and it will uh, save it as a temporary file like this is a workflow that i've already created like a simple workflow of uh, pull id uh, i'm going to just upscale this uh, reference so the generation will have more space or pixel i resize the uh, reference image and let's just see what happens okay and and remember there is no prompt here right now for prompt that you have to do something like uh, we have to create a timestamp for guidance of image and prompt uh, separately let's see the results here okay so this is the result as you can see the style is good here it's not as bright as this image but the style transfer is pretty much okay because we are using pull id we can't just pump up everything like I have decreased the redux strength to 0.5 but that's it I guess uh, that's what you can do with the if you want to use an image to image with a style reference uh, you can use this workflow and I guess that will be good this is optional you don't have to do this obviously